During a CNN interview, Trump spokesperson Carolyn Levitt interrupted host Casey Hunt as she brought up Jake Tapper's previous comparison of Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler. It's so it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump to see that Jake Tapper has Ma'am, consistently we're stop this interview if you're going to keep my colleagues. Filter. Ma'am, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here we, to speak on his behalf, and I will do that. have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay, now, I'm sorry, guys, we're going to come back out to the panel. For, Caroline, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome to come back and speak about Donald Trump, and Donald Trump will have equal time to Joe Biden when they both join us now at next, early, later this week in Atlanta for this debate. Advocates for free speech often worry about media bias. Carolyn Levitt's move to spotlight Tapper's past remarks was an effort to reveal perceived media prejudice against Trump. This reflects the belief that media figures should be accountable for their statements and that debate moderators must remain impartial. Levitt's actions can be seen as a defense of Trump against what many conservatives view as biased and unjust comparisons. This aligns with the broader conservative view that Trump is frequently misrepresented and unfairly attacked by mainstream media. It's crucial to offer a balanced perspective and ensure that Trump's representatives can address past criticisms publicly.